What's the difference between flex mode joint care and collagen? By now, most members at Fit Club are well moved past just getting started and just generalized being sore to moving on to, I need to recover faster. And since I've personally been taking flex mode supplement and collagen together, I'm finding now that my joints do not hurt and I'm recovering fast enough that I can play intense tennis three to four times a week while doing Fit Club workouts four to five times a week. And the only thing that I've really changed is the supplement that I've been taking and the collagen combined. And before we go on guys, make sure to give this video some love by throwing it a like. Now flex mode joint care and collagen are both supplements commonly used to support joint health, but they contain different ingredients and serve somewhat of a different purpose. So when it comes to a collagen supplement, so collagen is a protein that is a major component of our connective tissue in the body, including your joints, your tendons, your ligaments, and your skin. Collagen supplements typically contain collagen peptides, which are broken down into forms of collagen that are easy for our body to absorb. So collagen supplements are primarily taken to support the health and integrity of connective tissues, including your joints. They make your joint pain, flexibility, and your overall joint health recover and improve much better. Collagen type two, as I mentioned in previous videos, specifically supports the formation of new collagen within your tendons, your ligaments, your cartilage, and your joints. When it comes to flex mode joint care, it contains a combination of ingredients aimed at supporting joint health and function. Glucosamine is a compound naturally found in the body and it's involved in the formation and repair specifically to the cartilage. It is commonly used in supplements to support joint health, particularly with individuals that have osteoarthritis. So osteoarthritis is a chronic breakdown that just random or regular joint inflammation turned into arthritic. So it's becoming now permanent into the joints and the glucosamine found in the flex mode is specifically designed to help with that. There's also an ingredient called chondritin. So this is another compound that's primarily found in cartilage. So it helps give the cartilage its elasticity and it also helps to prevent the breakdown of the cartilage that is sitting within the joints. MSN, is one of the other key ingredients found in the joint care. Now it's a sulfur compound that has anti-inflammatory properties. So when you get a lot of pain in your joints, especially if you're playing a lot of sports or you're doing a lot of workouts, then what you wanna do is reduce the amount of inflammation because inflammation naturally happens as tissue breakdown. The MSN is gonna help specifically break down and remove some of the inflammation within the joints itself. So the key ingredients, Collagen supplements primarily contain collagen, while flex mode joint care contains glucosamine, chondritin, and MSN. The purpose, collagen supplements primarily focus on supporting connective tissues, including your joints. Flex mode joint care aims to support joint health through repair, elasticity, and reducing inflammation. Now, how does it work? Collagen provides the building blocks for the collagen synthesis. While flex mode joint care contains compounds that support cartilage repair, elasticity, and reducing inflammation. In summary, while flex mode joint care and collagen supplements support joint health, they do so through different mechanisms and contain different active ingredients. The choice between the two may depend on the individual needs and preferences. So how do you take it? I would suggest that you take collagen, you shake it up with one scoop or 10 grams with 200 milliliters. I prefer the bones and marrow. Now, if you don't have access to the bones and marrow, then I would suggest that you use chicken broth or you can mix it with chicken broth and the water or you can mix it into your protein shake. I've had mixed reviews about it being mixed into the protein shake just because it has its own very unique taste. To me, the collagen is more around like a soup base. It's more of a broth base. So you'd mix it in with the bones and marrow or you could do chicken broth with water. You'd shake it up and then you would heat it up and almost drink it like a soup. Now, when it comes to the joint care, the flex mode, then I would suggest that you take two post-workout and then I would suggest that you take two at night. If you're not working out that day, I would still take your two at night and I would still have your collagen every single day. So there we have it guys, which one's better than the other? 
They both do different things. They both work to support your joints. So which one should you take? I would say that you should be taking both. Now before you go on guys, make sure that you give this video a like and at your next belly burn challenge, make sure that you're asking your coach, should you be taking flex mode and should you be taking collagen? Because if you're looking to ramp up your workouts, you're getting looking to get more results, burn more calories, then your body needs an active way to induce that recovery as fast as possible. And these two supplements are the way to go.